Now let's consider another type of position versus time graph, this time with negative acceleration. And let's consider an initial starting position of 10 meters and an initial velocity of zero. So the graph will look like this. With position on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. And here we'll put in our initial starting point of 10 meters. Well, the position starts off at 10 meters, but as time moves forward, the position decreases. And it decreases more and more rapidly. And the physical example is, well, you, you have your, so you're driving a truck and you're starting off at uh, 10 meters to the, down the road from your house in the north direction and you accelerate back towards your house going south. Now let's draw our time intervals. One, two, three, four, five, that's good enough. And notice that the distance of one second stays the same. And that's very important when you're doing graphs. Now, let's take the first second. Well, the first second is from here to there. And the distance gained is this much. The, the second second of motion, that is the time of one to two, well, that goes from, he whoops, we actually want to start here, because he started here and ended up there. And the distance gained is this much, a little bit bigger. Now, from two to three seconds, there's two to three seconds, and notice that you have also gained more distance. Now, when I say gained, you might say, oh, but it's going in the downward direction. Well, you're still gaining distance. Your position is decreasing. And you'll see that your position is decreasing more and more rapidly, which indicates that your speed is increasing or in this case, the velocity is becoming a larger and larger negative number. So notice that this shows acceleration because in the first second, you gained that much distance, or in other words, your position decreased by that much. In the second second, your position decreased even more. And in the third, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. This shows that you, your speed is increasing. You are speeding up. You are speeding up in the negative direction. So the velocity is increasing, well I should say decreasing. Ah, let's correct that. The magnitude of the velocity is increasing or in other words speed getting larger in negative direction and that's evidenced again because the distance in the negative direction is getting larger and larger thus the acceleration is less than zero so it's equal to some negative number thank you